Adding too much thermal paste can cause it to overflow, and if the overflowing paste is electrically conductive, it could damage your computer. For non-conductive thermal paste, even if it's under the pressure from the heat sink, the paste layer will still be too thick, and a thick paste layer means that the distance of heat conduction increases, which in turn decreases the heat dissipation efficiency. So, to ensure maximum heat dissipation efficiency, the amount of thermal paste used should not be excessive. The correct amount of thermal paste to use depends on the size of the processor. According to experiments, for a CPU with a size of 3 cm by 3 cm, the ideal amount of thermal paste to use is 0.2 mL. If you're unsure of the amount to use, you can use the estimation calculator at coolingmonster.com to calculate how much thermal paste should be used on your processor. If you accidentally use too much thermal paste, you can use a spreader or a spatula to remove the excess paste, or you can remove the existing paste completely and reapply it. The key is to apply a thin and even layer. So next time you apply thermal paste, you should know what to look out for. Follow me to learn more about thermal paste.